Before you watch this tutorial, be sure to watch the tutorial on the critical equipment you will need to participate in all of the activities. Plug your USB headset into your computer. The first thing you need to do is set your general preferences on the Mac. So go to your desktop and look at the dock. You're looking for System Preferences. These preferences control the general operation of the Mac. The icon you're looking for looks like Machine Parts. And it says System Preferences. Double click on System Preferences. And what you're looking for is under Hardware and Look for a sound icon and click on that. First, we're going to look at output. How does sound exit or come out of your computer? Is it through the built-in speakers? Or is it through your headset or a special microphone configuration? If you're wearing a headset, this is where you should see it. And it should always be USB connection for the best quality. If you want to test your volume, you can click to the right and snap it just to be sure it is coming through your headphones. Now let's look at input. For input, you want to see, again, your USB headset or special microphone configuration. This controls the volume, so if you see no movement here, you may have to stop and plug in your headset again. You may even have to restart your computer through Apple Restart in case you have a problem. That will reset everything and sometimes that solves the problem. But before you restart, you can always try to unplug your microphone or headset and plug it back in and see if it appears here. Then you want to check the sound level. This is a little bit low, perhaps. So I'm going to turn it up to about halfway. OK, you can close that window. We only want to use USB. iPhone headsets will not work earbuds will not work, and any other kind of device that plugs into the headphone jack is not good. You might have a buzz. So we all want to use USB technology. It's mandatory. So you must buy a USB headset. Now there might be times when you're in a class or you're in a group, we will send you out to watch this video again because we find the biggest problem we have in working online is with sound. So you're going to really have to perfect this. You're going to have to understand it because it's very disruptive if you don't have good sound and if it makes a lot of noise. So the first requirement in working online together is to master your sound controls.